Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, again, walking and talking here on the beautiful beach in Thailand, Phuket. Uh, I have four amazing charts. I have a travel tip, I have a trading tip, I have some live advice and talking about the news as today something really cool is starting on Google. Now let's quickly jump into the charts to see what they have to tell us about the price of Bitcoin. Are we going to go higher than 42k or are we going to go drop down below again? Let's quickly check it up in those charts. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is this weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we just closed another candle, this candle over there. That candle has a pattern of a hammer candle. Of course, the wick on the top is a little bit long, so yes, it's not a perfect hammer candle, but still, it looks like a hammer setup, and that's a reversal of the charts, guys. A hammer candle is like 90% of the time a reversal of the market. Let's look back if we find another one. Look over here. There, hammer. What did we do? The market went up. Let's see if we can find some more. Even a red hammer candle could also be a reverse of the market. Let's see if we zoom out, guys. Here, check. We go down from there to there. We're forming this hammer candlestick. What did we do? Bam, we pumped up from 22K all the way up to 30K. So these candlestick patterns are very important candlestick patterns to keep an eye on. Again, now on the weekly, we can see the forming of this candle or it is a continuation or a reverse of the market. And as we were bearish in the last two weeks, two red candles, this green hammer candle could mean a reverse of the market, could mean that 38,600 was the dip. So we dipped about 21% from 50K to go up again from here. Beautiful candle. Now let's zoom out and look at even more interesting charts for now. This is the first time. People are always telling me, but this time it will be different. This time it will be different. This time it really will be different. Now look at the chart. So what is different every and each cycle? Nothing is different. We will reach a top. We will retrace back to a bottom. Then we, again, we will reach that midline of that bluish area. And from there again, we will go to the top of that blue area and to create a new blue area. And on the bottom, we can see, of course, the RSI every time in that four-year cycle doing exactly the same. We peak, we bottom, and we peak, and we bottom, and we peak. And we did bottom out, and we are now at that 75 level, guys. That's a beautiful level to start going more bullish or to see a small retrace before we go even more bullish, guys. It is not different. It is every time the same, guys every time the four-year cycle is repeating itself and that's also what you see on this chart we are now at 94 percent towards the halving guys so we are almost at the halving look what we did in the last time when we were at 94 percent yes the previous time we had that COVID crash of course that is a black swan event that nobody can uh, predict but when there is a black swan event yeah we can see a massive dip that time before there we went higher from this moment towards the halving and I believe that this bull market looks way more than the 2007 than the 2016 17 bull market than it looks like the 2021 bull market just compare the bottom structure and the way we are going up now moving up to the way we did in 2019 there's a completely different structure and now to the way in 2016 17 that's a very beautiful structure that's almost looking the same as now so I believe we will be around 50k towards that halving again amazing times in bitcoin guys and from that halving we will go a shitload higher a shitload higher so you should be in bitcoin before that halving this chart is even showing you something more extraordinary because this chart is showing you that the adx di indicator is crossing is about to cross the last time that these lines crossed is eight years ago in 2016 eight years ago in 2016 just after the double top that you can see on the chart completely on the left we can draw these two black lines the support and the resistance lines and we can see when we break that in that orange circle that is exactly when the adx di indicator flashed eight years ago guys this indicator is about to flash again and again exactly on that moment that we are about to break that horizontal resistance line that black line that we can see there 
This is a very important moment when it comes to the ADX DI indicator. You can find this one on TradingView for free. You just go to TradingView and add the ADX DI indicator to your chart and you will see that bottom chart yourself. And this is a monthly chart. Be aware, it's a monthly chart. Every candle is a month. But if at the closing of this month, these two lines closed, then the last time that ever happened in Bitcoin was eight years ago in 2016. Very important moment if you ask me. And then we have this chart because a lot of people are telling me that I am too bearish, that I'm saying like, yeah, maybe we won't even reach 100K or maybe 120K or 130K. So I don't have the target of a few hundred K or a few million, whatever per Bitcoin in 2025. That is for example, because of this chart. On this chart, you can very simply see the diminishing returns. If you look to the left, you can see at that time, we did a 10,000X from the bear market bottom till the top. The next time we only did a 4,000X, so that's 10,000 times 0.4. The last time we only did a 1,600X, which is 4,000 times 0.4. If we do now 1,600 times 0.4, we arrive at 640%, which would be around the 115,000 euro dollar level per Bitcoin. So if you would keep the pattern in these diminishing returns, from 10,000 to 4,000 to 1,600 to maybe 640, then it could be that we would only reach somewhere around that 115K as a top. So that is why I prefer to be bearish instead of too bullish. I don't want to be the one that is going to promise you like a few hundred K per Bitcoin, this bull cycle, and you make you very bullish and not have you cashing out at the right moment. I am here to be realistic and if you are realistic we can see that these diminishing cycles could lead to Bitcoin price only just above 100k and maybe even to just below 100k if we don't perform as the previous cycles. It is simple as that. So that's why I'm a little bit careful with my predictions and why I always told you if we are around 70k I start to dollar cost average out. Maybe 5% at 70k, maybe 5% at 80k, maybe 10% at 90k, maybe at 100k another 15%, maybe 110k another 25%. And if we go higher than that, yes, I of course have always the ability to cash out a little bit more at the top of the cycle. But if that would be the top of the cycle, then I am the happy one that already took profits and I will be very happy with my profits and I will be waiting the 2026-7 bear market out to buy back at the bottom again. And yes, buying back a shitload more Bitcoins. I believe that being too greedy is never good. Be happy with these profits when we reach 100K, guys. Because there is a possibility that 115K or 120K will be the ultimate top. And yes, I know a lot of people are talking about a few hundred K or even up to a million. But for me, this cycle could end up also around 120K. And yes, of course, uh, when BlackRock and all those other institutional investors that are promising to bring a shitload of liquidity to the market are really doing that and not talking about 2 billion and 5 billion. I'm talking about maybe a trillion or 2 trillion or maybe 3, 4, 5, 6 trillion dollar to the table and invest in Bitcoin spot ETS. Yes, of course, then my predictions will completely be wrong. And then yes, we will see Bitcoin prices of a few hundred K. But if they won't do what they promise, then maybe this is the most bullish version for Bitcoin. So I always tend to take it on the lower end and be very happy if we go higher because that will lead to more happiness. And why? Because in life, it's very important to understand that you need to be happy with what you have and not sad because of what you don't have. So that's why I am always dollar cost averaging out at certain levels. Now, there were the charts. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. I'm a little bit later than normal on the beach, so the beach is like a little bit more traffic. Maybe you are lucky, guys. Maybe you can see some booties on the beach today. But the charts told us again exactly the same. Yes, at 38,600, I told you, I am buying that dip. And that dip is already now a 4K in profit because we are back at 42K. Now, this is all short-term volatility, short-term play, just making an extra buck here and there, or an extra Bitcoin here and there, or some extra sets here and there for the ones that play a little bit smaller but that is what we do just in the short term it's just playful to multiply your bitcoins again but the long term guys you need to zoom out we are going to see 70k at the end of this year which means everything you buy around 40k is almost times two at the end of the year guys that's a beautiful return on investment there is no other asset that will give you the same return on investment as 
that Bitcoin is doing, guys. So it's very important to understand that bigger picture. And next year, 2025, we will see another part of the bull market going up maybe above 100K. So whatever price level you're buying at the moment, 40K, 35K, or maybe even at 50K, that will all be in profit in the end. Amazing charts, let's quickly jump now into the trading tip, guys. The trading tip for today, guys, is a reminding you to this beautiful candlestick that you see over here, the hammer. What does the hammer mean? The hammer means a reversal of the market. Now, I found this hammer on the weekly chart of Bitcoin. Check it out. We closed the weekly candle yesterday, and that was a beautiful hammer, a long wick, tiny body on the top, a very small wick on that top. That is a hammer. And that is mostly a reverse of the market. And as we saw a pullback in the market from 49K to 39K in the previous week, this week close is showing us a reversal, which could mean back up 44K, 48K, maybe even above 50K. If you look closely on the chart, we see this hammer a few times. And every time in the last couple of months that we saw that hammer, we went up. So this is mostly an indication that the market is reversing. So the beautiful hammer candlestick, that was the trading tip for the day. Whenever you see a hammer candlestick, that is a reversal of the market. Bam. The travel tip for the day, guys, is about electric poles in Thailand. You can see these beautiful golden electric poles everywhere, for example, in Patong. Don't touch all of those poles. There have been many times that these poles give you an electric shock. And why? Because they solve certain situations like this picture over here. So they will put a plastic bottle in between two cables so that they don't touch each other. They will just connect some cables outside of these poles. And because of that, there will be electric loading on those poles. So a few times already, people touch those and they're like electrified. That's like death penalty on the highway. So please be aware of this. This is not Europe. There is a lot of electricity like hanging on the streets, outside the streets, outside the houses. Uh, even these poles, these government poles, even they have these electric issues and people just connect their house to it, whatever they do, with like very creative solutions. But that does mean they can be electrical charged. So please tell your kids, don't touch all the poles. I know that all the kids play the same games, running and touching all those poles. Don't do that to these golden poles in uh, Patong, for example. I mostly it's all safe in Thailand. Of course, it's getting safer and safer, but don't start hugging these poles when you see some cables hanging out of them because uh, they might be electrical charged and then you might up like this somewhere on the street and you don't want that to happen in Thailand. You want to be walking on a beautiful beach like me. Now, that was the travel tip for the day. Let's quickly jump into the next part of the video. The next part, guys, is answering a question of one of the followers. And the question was, should I buy now? I'm always doubting. Should I wait for 34K, 31K? Now, I had that conversations now many times in the last week. And I will tell you again what my opinion is about that. I am buying dollar cost averaging every and each dip. So if I have, for example, 50K USDT in my Bybit account, if you want to have a Bybit account, sign up down below, because if you sign up to Bybit, you can get a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar, but also the Bybit debit card that you can use to spend your crypto all over the world in a really cool way. You can even stake and earn uh, staking rewards and everything else on Bybit. So beautiful platform. If you want to sign up, use the link down below. But let's, for example, say you have 50K USDT on Bybit. And now you want to buy Bitcoin. You don't know if you need to buy Bitcoin at 40K or at 38K or at 34K. So you're always in doubt. And then if you don't buy at 38K, we are back at 42K. You're like, ah, oh, shit, I should have bought. And then you're like, I'm waiting now until it falls back to 38K. And bam, we go to 46 or 50K. And you're like, oh, I should have bought. Don't play that game. It is almost impossible to catch the exact bottom. Just dollar cost average into every dip. If you see the price falling to 38K and you know that is a huge massive support level, buy a little bit of Bitcoin. Buy 10 or 15,000 USDT worth of Bitcoin. If we fall lower, you can buy a little bit extra. If we go up again to 40K, maybe you should add to that portfolio again 15K. 
it is not about buying the exact bottom because nobody knows the exact bottom it's all about dollar cost averaging at these prices because you believe that bitcoin in the end will go above 100k and do you believe that if you buy bitcoin at 40k and we go to 100k you are in 60k profit do you really believe if you bought bitcoin at 38k you would be in 62,000 US dollar profit per Bitcoin, that you would be more happy, that would make your day even more perfect because you have 2K more profit, 62K instead of 60K. I don't think at the end it even matters because you're gonna be happy either way with your profits. It's a shitload of profits that we're gonna make in the next 12 to 18 months. So that 2K extra profit or 5K extra profit doesn't even matter again anymore. If you would go to 150k and you buy at 40k, you have 110k profit per Bitcoin. If you would have bought at 38k, ooh, you would have 112k profit. That 2k doesn't matter. That 5k doesn't matter. Why do you want to risk all of this? Well, you know we are just at the moment that we might explode up because of the halving, because of the liquidity coming into the market of the spot ETS. There is so much happening don't take that bet just start to dollar cost average that is my answer to that question guys let's jump into the next part the news for today guys is gigantic news from the 29th of january google will allow commercials for spot ets and other products on their platform so adwords will be possible from today which would mean and from today, the possibility is there, then we are searching stuff on Google, you will see AdWords popping up about the spot ETF. And that means that those AdWords will be targeting, of course, all those institutional investors, all those people that are still doubting to buy Bitcoin, that do have a shitload of money, let's say the boomers, and they are gonna target those boomers. In Google, all those boomers from today will see ads about Bitcoin Spot ETF. Do you know how simple it is to buy Bitcoin? Use the Bitcoin Spot ETF. You can now start to buy Bitcoin directly from your bank account with an official broker, yes, that is guaranteeing your safety, blah, 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 with a Bitcoin Spot ETF. I think they are gonna target that whole institutional investor world now with these ad words on Google because it's legal from today, guys. Google has never allowed any ads about Bitcoin or crypto till today. From today, a certain amount of companies, I think they need to have a certain credibility or something like that. There are some rules, but a lot of companies will be allowed to start to advertise their Bitcoin products on Google from today. That is gonna suck in the complete retail market. All those people that are searching for financial advice, investment advice, all those people will now be confronted with ads about Bitcoin. Probably the spot ETF will do best because of course BlackRock owns a huge part of Google. So yes, of course they will now show their newest commercials and everything about the spot ETF on Google AdWords. Yes, be prepared. I believe that this huge advertising war on Bitcoin spot ETFs will start today on Google and that is still the biggest search platform of the world guys. So let's see what happens, but I think it's huge news for today to see that happening. And yes, that will drive more and more adoption to investing in Bitcoin, not to using Bitcoin, but to investing in Bitcoin. Using Bitcoin is a different story. That is what probably people like me and other influencers are doing on a daily basis, educating you on how to use Bitcoin. But those people, those black rocks and financial institutions, they are gonna educate people in how to invest in Bitcoin, big time. And they are gonna use Google Forward because it's the biggest platform in the world allowing that now. So that was the news for today. Let's quickly jump into the next part. I am gonna turn around now for the last part of the video, guys, but I wanna show you this beautiful view that I have over here. Check this. Check how beautiful this is. It's an amazing cove. Because the water, the tide is low, you can walk all this place. Even a new island is being created. Very beautiful. You can live there, you know, up there. Sea view would be amazing. Beautiful place. Turning around for the last part of the video, guys. Uh, the life lesson, I need to look where I'm walking because there is a little bit of shells and everything over here. 
But the life lesson for today is of course a quote. And the quote for today is, life is a succession of lessons that need to be lived to be understood. It's very simple like that. You can read about life, you can read about everything you want, but you really need to live it to understand it. And that is exactly what I am trying to convince you to do every day again and again in these videos. And I know a lot of you are thinking, yeah, maybe in the future, maybe, maybe when I go with pension and all that stuff, yes, but maybe that is too late. Life is a succession of lessons that need to be lived to be understood. It's very important. You need to live life to the fullest to be understanding all those life lessons that are hidden in everything that you might experience today. It's simple. It's very simple. You can't just read about it or watch my videos and listen to what I say. That doesn't help you any further. It only will start to help you when you take your first step in doing it. Stop reading, stop listening to podcasts, stop watching my YouTube videos about what you should do, but start to do it. I think it's very important to understand for all people out there that that's the most important part of the life. You should be living that life to understand all the lessons that life is trying to give you. And of course, I'm very thankful you're watching all my videos and listening to that last part of the life lessons. Ah, some people don't like it. There was a guy commenting, Didi, I'm 55 years old. Uh, I don't need your life lessons. I'm older than you. Yes, then don't watch that part of the video. <laughs> For all the other people that do want to uh, listen to these life lessons that I learned in the last eight years of traveling, maybe I learned a lot about life because maybe I grew up very fast because maybe, you know, I lost my parents on a very early age and all that stuff. Maybe I'm just a guy that experienced life, the real life, already very early in life. And I just want to share that message. And for those that want to listen, they listen. And if you don't want to listen, then skip the last five minutes of this video. But I think it's very important that you all understand that life is just a very simple thing that you should be living to understand all those lessons that life is trying to give you. And there is a shitload of lessons that you can learn every day by living life. Not by just sitting at home watching Netflix, not by just going to your job and doing everything that you do every day again and again and again. By experiencing new stuff in life, new things in life, that will give you those life lessons. Because if you're just repeating what you know every day again and again and again, that won't give you these new lessons. Trying out new things, breaking that circle, that will give you a shitload of new lessons. And those lessons will again bring you a shitload further in your life when it comes to growing as a personality, as a person. I really believe that is true. I really believe that we are not made to be stuck on a certain place from your 20s till your 60s to maybe have a pension and then maybe start to enjoy life and learn some extra lessons. And then in the end, tell your grandchildren, hey, if I were you, I would do it different. I would start to live life now and not when you are too old with your pension. I think then it's too late. I think you should be experiencing that life now so you can tell your grandchildren already now, hey, don't fall for that whole trap of schools, indoctrination, and that whole centralized government that wants to get you locked into the country. Go and explore the world, go and explore life, go live life to the fullest. That should be your lessons to your grandchildren already today or to your children. If you're like me, we don't have grandchildren yet, so we should give those lessons now to our children. The wind is picking up, guys, so I don't know about the sound, but again, the life lesson for today is, life is a succession of lessons that need to be lived to be understood, guys. I hope the sound is not too bad with the wind. Uh, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the other advice, tips, life lessons? Let me know down below because the YouTube algorithm loves it when you comment and when you give thumbs up. And that maybe will drive more new followers to our channel and maybe then we can reach 75k or even 100k in 2024, guys. I'm not talking about the Bitcoin price. I'm talking about the amount of subscribers to our YouTube channel needs to reach 100k before Bitcoin does. Let's make that a competition. Can we, as the Bitcoin family, reach 100k subscribers before Bitcoin reaches 100k, yes, we can. You just need to help me by sharing this video with all your friends and family, guys. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, an amazing week. See you tomorrow again at another daily video. Bam!